Good evening and welcome to MTV's News Update for today, October 16, 2023. I am Sandy Ramatar. First, our top headlines. Ghana hosts 38 FAO Regional Conference in 2024. Series of bills ready to be tabled when Parliament resumes. 1,000 children diagnosed with different types of conditions during the Ministry of Health's Child Health Screening Program. And in sport, St. Pius storms into court's Optical Peewee Football Quarterfinal Championship. Now for the news in detail. Some 1,000 children have been diagnosed with different types of conditions during the screening of 7,000 pre-nursery school children under the Ministry of Health's Child Health Screening Program. Here is more. A whopping 7,000 pre-nursery school children have already been screened under the Ministry of Health's Child Health Screening Program. And by the end of 2023, 12,000 children enrolling in nursery school will receive the medical checkup to test for various conditions that warrant intervention. So we just have a small percentage more to go. And then once we complete that, we are going to look at those who are now in nursery and to be able to screen all of those in nursery. And then we'll go on to primary and secondary. From the screening, 1,000 children have been diagnosed with different types of conditions. The severity of which ranges, right? But some of them might need a spectacle, others might need a hearing aid. Others might need some uh, intervention, maybe because they have skin rashes, different things. So whatever it is that we find, uh, we then bring them into one of our clinics and we try to resolve the problems that they have. This program ensures that children undergo preventative screening to detect underlying illness at an early age. Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs, Senior Counsel Anne Nandla, said a series of bills are ready after concluding the consultation process and is set to be presented in the National Assembly. During his weekly televised program, Issues in the News, last Tuesday evening, Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs, Senior Counsel Anne Nandla, said the plea discussion and plea agreement bill, a new bill, is ready to go to the National Assembly. The plea discussion and plea agreement bill is a comprehensive piece of legislation which seeks to establish a system of plea discussions and plea agreements in criminal procedure. The bill seeks to repeal the Criminal Procedure Plea Bargaining and Plea Agreement Act Chapter 1009 and reenact legislation which addresses the gaps in the current law to effectively expedite criminal proceedings, protect the rights of the individual, and ensure offenders are properly sentenced in accordance with the law. The Attorney General said this bill will bring speed and effective disposal of cases. This bill will allow for the prosecutor and the defense counsel to negotiate a position long before the matter reaches the court. And they can go to court simply to tell the judge what they have arrived at. Of course, it will not, it must be done in accordance with law. This happens all over the world and it eases the backlog and it eases the burden on the court system. Another bill that is expected to be tabled is the paper committal bill which seeks to abolish preliminary inquiries. You go before the magistrate, the two sides present their statements, the magistrate decides whether he will commit or not. The preliminary inquiry now takes years in the magistrate's court. This paper committal can take a few days. All, once all the statements are done, the magistrate reads them and I suppose hears submissions from both sides and decides whether he will commit or not. According to the Attorney General's office, the bill will bring Guyana on par with jurisdictions across the Caribbean and the Commonwealth that have already abolished the use of preliminary inquiry. It said the paper committal process saves time and resources by eliminating the need for witness testimony and cross-examination during the preliminary inquiry stage. This will inevitably save judicial time, reduce the backlog of criminal cases and reduce the prison population on demand. 
more news coming up after the break. Stay with us. The Ministry of Agriculture, in collaboration with the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, invites you to World Food Day Exhibition and Fair 2023 under the theme, Water is Life, Water is Food, Leave No One Behind. It's set for Monday, October 16th at the GCC ground border from 10 hours. The event will showcase the work of the various agencies of the Ministry of Agriculture, partner organizations like the FAO and the ICA, local manufacturers, agro-processors, etc. There will be agency open day and plant distribution. World Food Day 2023, a day for the entire family. Don't you miss it! Modern Optical Service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line, starting as low as $10,000 for single vision lens and $12,000 for bifocal lens, available in tinted or clear, complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or Lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care professionals. Are you running around looking for construction materials? Well, run down to Lens for affordable, high-quality building supplies. We have the widest range of grade A floor and wall tiles in any shape, size, and designs. And all types of ceramics, porcelain glazed and full-body porcelain. We stock the largest collection of large format tiles. Check out our porcelain slabs as big as 10 feet by 4.5 feet. Add a bit of elegance with our large range of decorative molding. Our line of PPG paints will give you vibrant colors that won't fade. With our wall and ceiling gypsum system, it's light, durable and fast. So come down to Lens at 136 Cherry Street, which is next to Buddy's and Pizza Hut, for that 31 years of Lens quality. Farmers and the members of the public in general are being advised that tampering with drainage and irrigation structures in any way is prohibited under the Drainage and Irrigation Act. So too are practices that result in damage to access dams, such as using an inadequate length of tube to irrigate farmlands, resulting in erosion of the earthen dams. Also contrary to the Drainage and Irrigation Act is the practice of erecting structures or planting on government reserves. This will not be condoned. These reserves are to be clear at all times to provide access for the excavation of the channels. Livestock farmers should also be aware that they are liable for any damages caused by their cattle or swine to dams or reserves alongside DNI channels, as is the case when the animals cross these channels. Individuals wishing to erect bridges across DNI structures should first contact the NDIA before doing so. Those found guilty under the Act are liable to fines and imprisonment for up to three months. A message from the National Drainage and Irrigation Authority, Ministry of Agriculture. BM Soap Auto Sales is Guyana's leading auto sales with over 35 years of experience providing reconditioned Japanese, European, and U.S. vehicles to the local Guyanese market. We also supply new vehicles for corporate and individual requests. Visit our showroom at Area A Success Public Road East Coast Demerara or our head office, Lot 9, Kroll Street, Georgetown. BM Soap Auto Sales. It's your turn to drive. With the pride and joy that comes with being the owner of a small or medium business, comes the hustle and hectic days where there's so much to do and only one of you. We understand all those times you wish there were eight days in the week. All those days you wished you had four hands. That's why GTT Business Solutions has introduced Connects. We're talking internet speeds of up to 600 megabits per second with up to 6,000 minutes, including calls to USA and Canada. Helpful features like caller ID and call waiting. Get up to two landline numbers and the convenience of having it all on one bill. So breathe easy, reliable and affordable help is here with GTT Connects. 
GTT, together we rise smarter. Fibertech materials are used in a multitude of ways from repairing and fabrication of auto body, fishing and household items. We have available various fiberglass mappings, resin, mold releases, brushes and rollers for all of your repair needs. We offer technical advice and free training to ensure you get the job done. For further information, call us at 2206907 or 2209192. This is MTV's News Update. Welcome back. Minister of Agriculture Zulfika Mustafa is urging the public to prioritize responsible water management in pursuit of a hunger-free world to coincide with the observance of World Food Day, which is being celebrated under the theme, What is Life? What is Food? Leave No One Behind. World Food Day is celebrated across the globe on October 16 to mark the anniversary of the founding of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, which was created in 1945. This day aims at tackling global hunger and striving to eradicate hunger across the world. This year, World Food Day is being celebrated under the theme, What is Life? What is Food? Leave No One Behind. To coincide with World Food Day, the Ministry of Agriculture, in collaboration with the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, hosted its annual World Food Day Exhibition and Open Day at the Georgetown Credit Club. During the event, Minister of Agriculture Zulfika Mustafa emphasized the importance of water in ensuring food security and agriculture sustainability. He also assured that no one will be left behind in the government's pursuit of food and water security. Prioritizing responsible water management in the pursuit of, hunger, of a hunger-free world under, underscores the urgency of adjusting water-related challenges to ensure equitable access to clean water and nutritious food for all. The event also featured a plant distribution exercise that attracted a number of students and patrons who were given insight into some of the services offered by the ministry. Meanwhile, Diane in 2024 will host the 30th session of the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization Regional Conference for Latin America and the Caribbean. This is the first time the conference will be hosted in Guyana and comes at a time when the country has been playing the leading role in agriculture and food security matters in CARICOM. Minister of Agriculture Zulfika Mustafa said the conference will bring together ministers of agriculture and high-level officials from the region to meet and deliberate on key priority areas relating to food and agriculture. The conference also serves as a forum for member states to provide guidance on effective implementation. The conference also serves as a forum for member states to provide guidance on the effective implementation of the FAO Strategic Framework 2022-2031 in line with the regional specificities of Latin America and the Caribbean. The Ghana Cancer Foundation is hosting a large number of activities this month to raise awareness about breast cancer and support cancer survivors and fighters. More from Richland Graham. October marks Breast Cancer Awareness Month, a national campaign to raise awareness for this cause. This year's theme is Keeping Her in the Picture, a call to everyone to look out for the well-being of the important women in their lives. President of the Guyana Cancer Foundation, Bibi Hassan, said the organization will be hosting a packed schedule of activities to raise awareness about breast cancer. The month of activities kicked off earlier this week with a tree wrapping exercise and will conclude with the candlelight vigil to honor those affected. Our uh, a fundraising tea party it's, will be on the 25th at Fusion Restaurant at the Pe Pe Pegasus Corporate Suites. And then on the 27th, we'll have our, our annual candlelight vigil. And this is to honor our cancer survivors, our cancer fighters, and also all those who have lost the battle to cancer. We honor them too. She said over 20 new sponsors have come on board to support the month of activities. And I'm asking all Guyana to come and walk with us on Sunday because it's for a cause. Um, we need more people to, to, to walk with us and, and let it be a celebration, celebrate our cancer survivors and celebrate our cancer fighters and also who have lost the battle to cancer. Coming up in tonight's score round up, Labour gets 12 months for unlawful wounding and more when we return. Be a part of 
the trend everyone is talking about. It's the new frameless shower door with towel bar from Beeson Windows and Doors. You can modernize your bathroom look with hinge or sliding frameless shower doors and get free transportation and installation in Georgetown or surrounding areas. At Beeson, you can also get decorative aluminum doors and railing. Just the perfect look to add beauty and safety to your home. So visit Beeson's today at 1228 Echoes Industrial Site and place your order now. Telephone 622-4197 or 623-4197. Built with pride in Guyana by Guyanese. Hi, I am Richard Muniram. I am the manager of Elegance Jewelry and Pawn Shop, which is a family business. We are a pawn broker, so we do money lending here. GTM was there with us all the time from the time they fire, they call us. Um, the representative from GTM, Ramesh Totaram, he called me at 3 o'clock in the morning and said, Rich, the building, I'm trying to get your brother. I said, my brother's with the fireman, he's a bit traumatized. So Ramesh said, listen, tell him, just ensure that everybody is safe. Um, GTM has the building covered, the building is fully covered and ensure that they're all okay. We would advise and recommend any of our friends and family to choose GTM. GTM, sound, solid, and reliable. The Ministry of Agriculture invites farmers, stakeholders, and all Guyanese to celebrate Agriculture Month 2023, October 1 to 31. This year's theme for Agriculture Month is Accelerating Vision 25 by 2025, investing in agribusiness and food security. The highlight of this month-long calendar of activities will be the annual Agri-Investment Forum and Expo taking place from October 20 to 22 at the Arta Chung Convention Center. Other key highlights of Agri Agriculture Month includes World Food Day and Exhibition, slated for Monday, October 16 at the GCC Ground Border, Agency Open Day Events, Farmers Field Schools, etc. Head over to the Ministry's Facebook and other social media platforms for more details on other regional events such as Market Days and Agricultural Symposiums. Agriculture Month 2023, October 1 to 31, Accelerating Vision 25 by 2025, Investing in Agribusiness and the Food security. The Gift Center, conveniently located at 46 Hatfield Street, opposite the White Castle Fish Shop, we are the best place to find quality products for yourself, your home, or a friend. Display your cherished memories in the perfect picture frame. Shop from a great selection of accessories for men, such as belts, wallets, and more. And for the women, find a great selection of handbags to suit your taste. Choose your signature scent or a timeless classic from our wide array of ladies and gents designer fragrances. We offer a range of innovative games that will guarantee you many hours of unspeakable fun. Enhance the decor of your home with beautiful lamps and unique wall art, just to name a few. The Gift Center, where quality is never compromised. It happens. Your septic tank is full. All the waste from your toilet goes into your septic tank through the sewage line. When your tank is full, the two most common indicators are an overflowing tank and an overflowing toilet. It is recommended that Sivan's Waste Management empty your septic tank every two to three years to avoid any embarrassment. And before you can say, shh, it's gone. Call Sivan's Waste Management today at 218-1455 or 218-1156. 101 reasons to shop at Quartz. Unbeatable prices and the best value. Quality brands that you trust. At Quartz, you can shop with no cash. Credit is amazing. Pay in 90 days. Quartz makes it easy. 101 reasons to shop at Quartz. We have so much in store and online we've got. 101 reasons to shop at Quartz. You are tuned to MTV's News Update. Research for Life, Virtual Health Library, and MedCard has commenced a workshop aimed to provide librarians, researchers, and health professionals with access to valuable scientific information. Here is more.
With access to valuable scientific information, Guyana's health research capabilities is expected to soar to higher heights. The workshop is being conducted at Pegasus Suites and Corporate Center. Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony said Guyana is in need of such a boost in the health sector. The minister is advocating for a central information hub that will hold all local health-related data. There are lots of avenues that we can look at to get literature because an integral part of our research is look at what exists, where are the gaps, and then try to address those gaps. Representative from the Pan-American Health Organization, World Health Organization, PAHO, WHO, Dr. Luis Codina, said Guyana will need more health research as the country develops rapidly. We need to introduce this kind of, of research also because we have, for example, a large group of indigenous people so we need to understand better what is happening with them. We need to go there and, and, and make some research about what is happening in these communities, what they think about the health, what they think about the future, and other aspects. So I think it's good to have data, but I think also that we have to combine a very intense qualitative research also. Here is tonight's school drawing up. 18-year-old Tyrese Adolphus was on Monday charged with robbery and remanded to prison. In the Georgetown Magistrate Court, Adolphus appeared before Magistrate Lee Ron Daly, where the charge was read to him. It is alleged that on October 12, while at the Kingston Seawall, Georgetown, and in the company of another individual, Adolphus robbed Marlene Murray of one haversack valued at 10000 one Samsung cellular phone valued at 60000 personal care items valued at 10000 and 12000 in cash totaling 92000 he pleaded not guilty to the charge and was remanded to prison. He will make his next appearance in court on November 10, 2023. We tell you now that Devon Brown and Osafu Allen were remanded to prison after being slapped with drug trafficking charges. The men were hauled before Magistrate Lee Ron Daly in the Georgetown Magistrate Court and charged with possession of cannabis for the purpose of trafficking. It is alleged on October 10, while in the vicinity of North Sophia, Georgetown, Allen and Brown had 1,472 grams of cannabis in their possession for the purpose of trafficking. The court heard that on the day in question, the men were in a car when law enforcement officers intercepted it. At the time, Allen was the driver and Brown was the passenger. During their arrest, the duo denied ownership of the narcotics. In another matter... Omish Chandra called Dumboy, a 23-year-old laborer, has been charged with felonious wounding and released on bail. Chandra of Riverstone and Sequibo Coast was brought before Magistrate Esther Sam in the Anarijanga Magistrate Court. The offense was committed on Sheldon Patterson, a laborer of Sequibo Coast on August 29, 2023 at Riverstone and Sequibo Coast. When the charge was read to Chandra, he was not required to enter a plea. Notwithstanding, Bail of 500000 was granted and the case was adjourned to October 27 and transferred to the Saudi Magistrate Court. Finally, Kevin Odit, a 23-year-old laborer, has been sentenced to 12 months behind bars for unlawful wounding. Odit of Anna Regina Esquibo Coast was on trial before Magistrate Esther Sam in the Anna Regina Magistrate Court. The 23-year-old laborer was accused of wounding 56-year-old Chaitran Prasad on May 28, 2023 at Anna Regina Market Road, Esquibo Coast. The victim testified and the defendant changed his plea from not guilty to guilty for the charge. As a result, he was sentenced to 12 months imprisonment. We now take a look at Tips for Healthy Living, brought to you with the kind compliments of Dabby's Variety Store. What does Natura High and Low Milk Powder have? It is fortified with the extra goodness of vitamins A, C, D, E, and K. It is high in calcium, protein, and enriched with folic acid, all of which help to strengthen your immune system. What it doesn't have is fat and cholesterol. Natura, high and low, healthy, can taste good. Available at all leading supermarkets and groceries nationwide. Natura High and Low Milk Powder is not for infants one year and under. Avocados are a source of key nutrients including healthy fats and fiber. They also contain anti-inflammatory and antioxidant compounds that may help reduce heart disease risk. Avocados are often referred to as fruits and vegetables when they really are considered berries. The more you know. Avocados are high in a number of important nutrients, many of which are lacking in modern diets. A 7-ounce avocado contains calories, fat, protein, carbs, fiber, vitamin C, 
E and K. Folate, magnesium, potassium, copper, and manganese. Avocados are high in fiber, providing about 14 grams in each avocado, and getting enough fiber in your diet is essential for the health of the digestive system because it helps promote the growth of healthy bacteria. The vitamins, minerals, healthy fats, and fiber found in avocados all play a role in keeping the cardiovascular system healthy. The high potassium and magnesium content of avocados is beneficial for blood pressure regulation. Keeping blood pressure at a healthy level is critical for heart disease prevention. A rich diet in antioxidants help fight free radicals, which are unstable compounds that can damage cells over time. When an imbalance occurs, this can lead to oxidative stress and may contribute to conditions such as heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and cancer. During pregnancy and breastfeeding, nutrition demands significantly increase, such as folate, potassium, and vitamin C. The high fiber content of avocados may help prevent constipation, which is extremely common during pregnancy. Eating avocados regularly may benefit health in several ways, including protecting against heart disease, improving overall diet quality, improving safety, and promoting gut health. Plus, they are versatile and delicious. What does Natura High and Low Milk Powder have? It is fortified with the extra goodness of vitamins A, C, D, E, and K. It is high in calcium, protein, and enriched with folic acid, all of which help to strengthen your immune system. What it doesn't have is fat and cholesterol. Natura, high and low, healthy, can taste good. Available at all leading supermarkets and groceries nationwide. Natura High and Low Milk Powder is not for infants one year and under. The ISG and MTV's sport update comes up after the break. Stay tuned. Uh, who argue today? Me brother, let me see that. You never see nothing properly. Oh, Toby, you got Mukesh, you know me fed up tell you about this window? Long now, you're supposed to carry me basin for my proper window. <laughs> Basin's windows and doors have the best quality, widest variety, and lowest prices of aluminum and UPVC windows, doors, shop fronts, shower doors, and enclosures, rails, showcases, and much more. With every 50 windows, you get two bathroom windows free. I don't know what cars this brainwave, but we just glad from. And this time, we didn't have one brainwave before we married you. What you said, I'm okay? Nothing, baby. Oh. Me thought so. Basin's windows and doors, lot 1228 New Echoes Industrial Site, East Bank Demerara. Call 6224197 or 6234197. Made with pride in Guyana by Guyanese. Everything is connected, our planet, our water sources, including the water we drink. Sometimes harmful bacteria end up in our streams and canals. Although treated, the risks are high. You can prevent this pollution and contamination by maintaining your septic tank and grease traps. Call the experts at Puran Brothers Disposal Incorporated on 264-1239 or 603-5050. Keeping it clean is what we do best. You can be a millionaire by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26, or you can buy a quick pick for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily, Monday through Saturday, to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So, feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket today could make you rich today. 101 reasons to shop at Quartz. Unbeatable prices and the best value. Quality brands that you trust. At Quartz, you can shop with no cash. Credit is amazing. Pay in 90 days. Quartz makes it easy. 101 reasons to shop at Quartz. We have so much in store. And online, we've got 101 reasons to shop at the Central Housing and Planning Authority is kindly asking residents living in communities under the management of the department to desist from storing construction materials on roadways and road shoulders. Residents are also being asked not to block roadways or drains with construction materials. 
According to clauses 12 and 13 of the amended agreement of sale of restrictive covenants attached to titles issued from 2012, no storage of materials comprising earth, sand, stone, blocks, cements, timber and steel or mixing of concrete shall be permitted on the road or the road shoulders. Any materials on the road or the road shoulders must be cleared within 24 hours of being placed thereon. Residents are reminded that failure to adhere to clauses 12 and 13 will result in a penalty of $10,000 being charged per day of default. A message from the Central Housing and Planning Authority. Hi, I am Richard Muniram. I am the manager of Elegance Jewelry and Pawn Shop, which is a family business. We are a pawn broker, so we do money lending here. GTM was there with us all the time from the time they fired, they called us. Um, the representative from GTM, Ramesh Totaram, he called me at three o'clock in the morning and said, Rich, the building, I'm trying to get your brother. I said, my brother's with the fireman, he's a bit traumatized. So Ramesh said, listen, tell him, just ensure that everybody is safe. Um, GTM has the building covered, the building is fully covered and ensure that they're all okay. We would advise and recommend any of our friends and family to choose GTM. GTM, sound, solid, and reliable. Attention homeowners and contractors. You must see the wide variety of toilet sets at Gaffur's before you build. They have two types of toilet designs. S-trap, which goes down into the floor and P-trap, which goes out through the wall. Both designs come in dual flush and lever flush. The dual flush helps conserve on water usage and both are fitted as normally done. Spare parts are readily available for all the toilets sold at Gaffles. So get quality sanitary wear products at affordable prices for home or office from Gaffles MacDoom Mega Complex and outlets at Perica, Means, Land of Canaan, BV, Rose Hall, Kanji, and Diamond. For superior customer service, superior quality, and competitive prices, it's Gaffles, the name you can trust. Get the right seal right now from Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc., your immediate SKF sealing solutions. The SKF seal jet machine is capable of building seals from 5 millimeter to 600 millimeter in diameter. With technical support readily available, you can get a customized seal to suit virtually any industrial application, like buffer, rod, wiper, and piston seals. SKF seal jet machine, now at Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc. Hi, my name is Randy, Chief Mechanic from RNS Performance. We take great care in preparing our vehicles for our road trips. That's why we choose Ultra Lubricants for our 4x4s, bikes, and ATVs. Our road is where we see the ultimate and peak consistent performance of Ultra Lubricants against the rough terrain. I recommend Ultra Lubricants. Ultra Lubricants, world-class lubricants for tropical conditions. Distributed by Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc. Head coach of Guyana's senior men's football team, Jamal Shabazz, said Saturday's victory over Puerto Rico was a result of work put in by the team and their focus towards executing the team's game plan on the pitch. Guyana defeated Puerto Rico to take a stronger hold of first place in Group D of the League B in the 2023-2024 CONCACAF Nations League. I think it's a, 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 a real deep feeling of joy, of happiness, of, of, of satisfaction, that understanding that how hard work, dedication pays off. You know, um, going down in this game, um, certainly Puerto Rico is a team that could possess the ball and being able to recover, equalize, and then try to play our game. Okay, I, I thought there was a tremendous effort by the players, and I get total respect to them. The Golden Jaguars in the match were forced to come 
from a goal down to defeat their Spanish-speaking counterparts 3-1 with goals from Mari Glasgow, Kelsey Benjamin and Dion Moore. In the match, the Golden Jaguars fell behind in the 11th minute after Leandro Antoni was able to find the back of the net for Puerto Rico for the game's lone goal for the first half between the two sides. Gann would respond in the 60th minute after Omari Glasgow converted a penalty to draw the match level. The Guyanese unit with momentum in their favour was rewarded for the attack tempo, with Kelsey Benjamin scoring his side's second of the clash in the 63rd minute before the Moore strike in the 85th minute, which assured the Golden Jags the win when the final whistle was blown. Guyana's victory gives them a three-point gap over second-place Puerto Rico, with a repeat encounter coming on Tuesday. Every game has have its own merit, have its own, you know, story. You know, this game was a story of, of, of battle, constant battle, resilience, you know, being able to pick ourselves up. And let's, let's not fool ourselves. Puerto Rico came into this game as the so-called defending champions. We came in as the challenger. And now, you know, what we saw from our guys in this game, I think we've got to bottle that and see how much of that effort, how much of that determination we could go into the next game. Shaquan favorite and Warren Williams produced the goods on Sunday to steer the YMCA Old Fort side to a 2-1 victory over Pepsi Hikers in the Farfan and Mendes First Division Men's League at the National Stadium Providence. A first half goal from Hikers keeper Robert France, who continued to defy his age to produce superb play, gave them the early lead with his field goal in the 13 minute of play, which they took into the second quarter of the game. YMC Old Ford found equalized in the 24th minute after a fabulous strike from Shukwan favorite to draw the scores level by half time. It took a few minutes into the third before the dynamic and skillful youth Warren Williams buried his goal after several attempts, delivering one to the back of the net for the lead. The two sides traded shots over the rest of the matchup, but all four did enough to hold on with a narrow 2 1 victory over the prolific Pepsi Hikers. In the other men's first division clash, Bounty GCC lead upstart Saints Hockey Club 2 1 in a heated battle that will continue on Sunday after bad light stopped play with 7 minutes and 40 seconds to go in the game. Meanwhile, in the Woodpecker Products Women First Division League, Saints women showed their ability to once again upstage YMC Old Fort Women to take a morale-boosting victory. Saints took the early advantage with a field goal 3 minutes into the contest of the stick of Kyra Scott. It would take about 40 minutes of shots on target before Saints doubled the lead with another field goal this time, coming from Nayana Chase, a strike in the 42 minutes of the third quarter that looked to steal the contest. A late penalty corner from Old Ford's captain Carol Dean in the dying minute of the encounter gave them the consolation goal as they went down to 1. The other women clashed GBTI GCC blanket with Pekka Hikers ladies 2 in after a pair of goals from Princessa Wilkie. St. Tobias' primary team is playing at a superior level by the axing of a strong friendship side on Saturday at the Ministry of Education ground as action continued in the court's optical PV football competition. St. Pius, who narrowly lost the 2022 final but retained much of their squad, has demonstrated a level of competitiveness and knowledge that is on match in this year's edition of the tournament. The team has been led remarkably by their attacking midfielder Aaron Van Consalos who has been the man for all the season. He again opened the scoring with his first for the game before goals from Octane Moore, Daniel Chesney and Ezekiel Lewis made it 4-0. Van Concelos then returned to put a lid on their performance with his second of the game in an imperious 5-0 victory. The defending champion Enterprise had a stern test from a strappy looking St. Gabriel Primary that came to play. One of the tournament highest goal scorer Dante Carlasar added to his tally in the third minute but St. Gabriel never showed fear as they played unrelentingly throughout the match, preventing Enterprise any further goals as they had to settle for a needed victory. West Stromfeld also were in a no-nonsense mood as they donged Tocqueville in a battle of former champions. Tion Francis gave West a led by coach Jamal Pedro and a go-ahead goal before Deshaun Thomas doubled the lead two minutes late. Second half goals from West Stromfeld's Eddie Bryant and Dan Van Putin added them to a 4-0 victory and a place in the quarterfinals. The day's biggest win, however, belonged to Mario Academy, who dominated Calico 10-0.
Grace George was phenomenal with six goals in a match, coming in at the 12, 14, 18, 25, 26, and 33 minutes. Maxwell Vipri also registered a double with the other goals coming from Shad Waldrand and Joshua Johnson. Today's other winner included Redeemer Primary, who beat Kabakuri 4 1 after a hat trick from David DeCosta. But our primary, St. Stevens and Denamsel, also booked their places into the quarterfinals with wins. That brings us to the end of Sport Update, which was brought to you with the kind compliments of ISG. More after the break. Get the right seal right now from Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc., your immediate SKF sealing solutions. The SKF seal jet machine is capable of building seals from 5mm to 600mm in diameter. With technical support readily available, you can get a customized seal to suit virtually any industrial application, like buffer, rod, wiper, and piston seals. SKF seal jet machine, now at Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc. Hi, my name is Randy, Chief Mechanic from RNS Performance. We take great care in preparing our vehicles for our road trips. That's why we choose Ultra Lubricants for our 4x4s, bikes, and ATVs. Our road is where we see the ultimate and peak consistent performance of Ultra Lubricants against the rough terrain. I recommend Ultra Lubricants. Ultra Lubricants, world-class lubricants for tropical conditions. Distributed by Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc. And that brings down the court on tonight's newscast, but before we go, here's a reminder of our top stories. Canada hosts 38 FAO Regional Conference in 2024. Series of bills ready to be tabled when Parliament resumes. 1,000 children diagnosed with different types of conditions during the Ministry of Health's Child Health Screening Program. And in sport, St. Pius Storm in the Court's Optical PB Football Quarterfinal Championship. Catch our webcast tomorrow at 6 hours 30. Don't forget to like our Facebook page where the news can be viewed live at 19 hours 30. On behalf of our news and technical team, I'm Sandy Ramutar saying stay safe and goodbye for now.